guys this morning. I hope that everything is going really well with you. Are you getting ready for Christmas? Yeah, I sure am. I am making my list and I'm checking it twice. I'm making sure I've got all my decorations up. And most importantly, I'm preparing my heart for Jesus to come. Are you doing that too? Well, that's a good thing. Now, we've been talking over the past couple of weeks about different ways to, um, to celebrate Christmas, different traditions that we have, right? Do you remember what we've talked about so far? If you said twinkle lights and Christmas trees, you're absolutely right. And do you remember what Christmas trees and twinkle lights have to do with Jesus' birth? Well, I'm sure that you remember that twinkle lights remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and that we can light up other people's lives and give them hope. And that the Christmas tree reminds us that Jesus is alive even though he died for our sins because God brought him back to life. And that can bring peace to our hearts. And we can also help bring peace to other people. Today we're going to talk about the next part of our Christmas journey. But first, I know that today is a special day in the daycare, right? You guys are celebrating Christmas spirit all week long. So what is today? Yeah, it's Christmas hat day or headgear or whatever. So I didn't want to be left out of the mix. So, um, so here we go. All right, there we go. Now, now am I one of the cool kids? <laughs> I hope so. Well, today we're going to talk about another fun Christmas tradition. Who likes presents? Yeah, everybody loves presents, don't they? Here's a present that I have right here. Doesn't this look exciting? If this was under your Christmas tree, would you be excited about this present? I sure would. What do you think is in here? Well, I'm going to show you what's in here a little bit later. But, you know, we all get presents at Christmas, right? Well, that doesn't really make sense, does it? I mean, Christmas is somebody's birthday. Is it yours? My brother was born on Christmas Eve. but And some people are born on Christmas Day, but that's not really what we're celebrating on Christmas, is it? Whose birthday do we celebrate on Christmas? Jesus, right? Very good. So when you have a birthday, do other people get presents or do you get presents? Yeah, when I have a birthday, I get presents. So if Christmas is Jesus' birthday, then why do we all get the presents? Why doesn't Jesus get presents? I know that he lives in heaven now, so maybe he doesn't need presents, but I don't know, presents are always good. Well, the thing is, we give presents at Christmas time, and we get presents at Christmas time to remind us of Jesus. Now, what do you think about presents would remind us of Jesus? Well, there's a couple of ways that Jesus' birth can be, can be remembered in presents. To begin with, who remembers the three wise men? Yeah, if you've got a nativity set up, you've got three wise men there, probably, right? They came, traveled from the east, we know from the song, that they came a long way and they brought presents to baby Jesus when he was born. Now, here's a gold star question. Does anybody remember what those presents that the wise men brought were? If you said gold, frankincense, and myrrh, then you're very smart. Good job, you get a gold star. But do you know what any of those are? Now gold we know, right? There's, there's gold in this ball here. You can probably see it. It's really nice and shiny. We know what gold is. Maybe you have some gold jewelry, or maybe you know somebody who does. 
So gold's not hard, but what is frankincense? Well, frankincense is this. I'm going to try and show it without tipping it out. Frankincense is a type of incense. It's something that was burned in the temple when people worshipped. Myrrh looks kind of like it, but it's darker. See, this is frankincense, and this is myrrh. And myrrh is kind of smelly, too. It was used when people died to perfume their bodies so that they didn't smell after they died. So, what does gold, frankincense, and myrrh have to do with Jesus? I mean, that's not much of a gift for a baby, is it? Have you ever bought gifts for a new baby? Or have you had a little brother or a little sister that somebody bought gifts for? Did they get gold, frankincense, and myrrh? Yeah, they seem like funny gifts, don't they? But they remind us of something. You see, gold was a gift for kings in those days. And so the wise men brought Jesus gold as a recognition that he was born to be the king of kings, the greatest king ever. Frankincense, because it was used in worship, was brought to remind us that we are meant to worship Jesus. He is God, God's son after all. So frankincense reminds us that he was born to be worshiped. And myrrh, that might seem like a funny thing for a baby, having something to do with perfuming dead bodies. But remember, Jesus came so that he could die for our sins. And so the myrrh was a reminder that he was going to die, but then Jesus was going to raise it back to new life. So one of the reasons that we give presents is to remember those presents from the wise men. But it's not the only reason. Can anybody think of another reason why we give presents to remember Jesus? Well, we give presents because of a present that God gave us about 2,000 years ago. That's a long time ago, isn't it? But that's when Jesus was born. And Jesus is the best gift that we've ever gotten. Jesus is the gift that God gave us 2,000 years ago and still gives us today. We know this in the Bible. There's a very special verse, John 3.16. And John 3.16 basically tells us everything we need to know. It says this, For God so loved the world that God gave his only son, so that anyone who believes in him, that is Jesus, will not die, but will have eternal life. That's a pretty good gift, isn't it? God gave us the gift of forgiveness when we make mistakes. So through Jesus, we can be forgiven when we do something wrong or when, when we're not nice to somebody. We just have to say we're sorry and, and really want to not do it again and ask God for forgiveness. And because of Jesus, we can be forgiven. And then we can live in heaven forever with God. That's a pretty good gift, don't you think? Probably better than, than a bike or uh, a new Xbox, although those are cool too. But, you know, someday they might break. The gift that God gave us, the gift of Jesus, that never breaks. So you see, it really is the best gift ever. So we give presents to one another and receive them ourselves so that we can remember that God gave us the greatest gift, and we can show our love to other people by giving them presents. Now, how do you feel when you get a present? Do you feel really happy? Yeah, I do. God gave us the gift of Jesus so that we would feel happy too. And the special kind of happiness that we have in Jesus is called joy. Have you ever heard of joy? Some people have it as a name. Well, joy is happiness that never goes away. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, sometimes we're happy and sometimes we're sad. 
But with Jesus, we can have joy that is way deep down in our hearts. In fact, when I was a kid, we used to sing a song in Sunday school about joy. It was something like, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And then somebody would yell, where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And that's the kind of joy that God's presence of Jesus brings into our life. Which, again, is why it's the best gift ever. And why we can remember Jesus and celebrate his birthday by helping to bring joy to other people by giving them presents. And you know, when we give somebody presents, it doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter if it's fancy. It doesn't even matter if it's new. In fact, the best gifts that I've ever gotten are gifts that are homemade. Those are gifts from the heart. And those are gifts that we can all give to one another. And they really do bring a lot of joy. Now, in this country, we have someone who brings gifts on Christmas Eve, don't we? So that when we wake up on Sunday mornings, there's presents under the tree. What do we call this magical guy who brings our presents on Christmas? Santa! That's right! We call him Santa Claus. And did you know that Santa goes all over the world to bring presents to boys and girls all over the place? Yeah, you probably did, right? But in different countries, they call Santa different things. Not everybody calls him Santa Claus like we do. Now, we're going to talk more about Santa Claus next week. He's going to be our focus. But for today, since we're talking about presents, I can tell you that the person who brings the name that they call Santa in some countries is St. Nicholas, and in other countries they call him Father Christmas. But it's all the same Santa. Now, where do you find your presents on Christmas morning? Where does Santa put the gifts that he brings for you? How many of you find them under the tree? Yeah? How many of you find them in your stockings? All right. How many of you find them both places? That's the best, isn't it? Well, in some countries, Santa doesn't leave them under the tree or in stockings because they don't hang stockings up. Instead, the kids put their shoes out or boots if they have boots instead. And Santa fills their boots. What do you think of that? Does that sound kind of funny? Well, it's not wrong. It's just different. I'll bet if we went to those countries where the kids put their shoes or boots out, that it might sound pretty funny that we hang stockings up at our houses for Santa to fill. So there's lots of different traditions around the world, but it's all the same Santa because it's all the same gift giving and the same joy that's brought in. You can look forward to next week when we talk more about Santa Claus and what he has to do with Jesus and with Christmas. But for today, as we're focusing on giving presents and gifts, what we want to remember is we give presents because the wise men brought presents to Jesus and also, and most importantly, because God gave us a present. God gave us Jesus. And through Jesus, God gave us the gift of forgiveness and eternal life in heaven. Do you know what eternal life is? That means that we live forever, like forever and ever, like with no end. That's what heaven is. And that's the present that we get in Jesus. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And that's why it brings joy into our lives. And why we can bring joy into other people's lives by sharing with them and bringing them presents as well. Now, how do you think that we can bring joy? What kind of gifts can we bring that would make people happy and bring joy into their lives? Those are good ideas. We can be nice to people just in general. I also found this card 
we can just give somebody a card, and if we don't have any money, we can just make one. Those are the best ones. There's all kinds of things that we can make and give to people, and those really are the best presents ever because they come right from our heart. Those are the best ones that I've ever gotten. So there's lots of ways that we can give people presents. They don't have to be expensive. We don't even have to get them at a store, but they can bring joy to people just the same. Now, I promised you something, didn't I? I promised to show you what was in this box. All right, last chance. What are your ideas? What do you think is in here? All right, here it is. We're going to reveal it live on air. It's joy. Just what we've been talking about. And so if you have your craft and your ornaments, you can peel the sticky backing off of your joy ornament and add it onto your cross. And now we're starting to look complete, aren't we? Now, through our faith, we know that in Jesus we have hope, and we can be reminded of that in the twinkle lights. We know that through Jesus we have peace in our hearts, and hopefully someday in our world we can be reminded of that in the Christmas tree. Today we learn that Jesus came to bring us joy because he's God's best present, because we can be forgiven through him. Wow, did you know that all of these things had so much to do with Jesus? I'm glad you're joining me so that you can learn all about it. Make sure to tell other people too, so that they can know just how much Jesus loves them. Because truly, that's the best gift that any of us ever get. So, let's pray and let's ask God to show us ways that we can help bring joy into other people's lives. Let's pray together. God, thank you for the best present ever. Thank you for the gift of Jesus that you gave us so many years ago, but that you still give us today. Thank you that Jesus came so that we could be forgiven when we do something bad or wrong and say we're sorry. And thank you that because of him, we can live forever and ever in heaven. We know how much you love us, God. And because of your love, you sent Jesus. Show us ways that we can show other people how much we love them, too. And show us ways how we can give and bring joy into other people's lives, just like you brought into ours. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, that wraps us up for another week. But you've got plenty to do to think about all of the ways that Christmas points to Jesus. So I'll be back again next week. We'll wind it out talking about the big guy himself, none other than Santa Claus. So until then, remember to be nice to everybody and be really safe. And mostly, remember that God loves you. God loves all of us. Bye.